This episode of Captured Pittsburgh Darkroom has been made possible by generous contributions from Code and Supply Coworking Space, Small Universe, and Captured Identity. Today we're featuring the song Inner Space by Smetato. Hi, can I place a uh, carryout order? Jason? A Belgian burger, medium rare. Substitute sweet potato fries. A bacon ranch sandwich with the chicken grilled. Also sweet potato fries. That was pretty quick there, Jason. I'm sorry, I'll try to talk a little bit slower. Welcome to Captured Pittsburgh Darkroom. Today, our uh, filming location was supplied by Code and Supply Coworking Space, and I'm here with Kyle Majerik. How's it going? Good. How about yourself? Can't complain. Beautiful day here in the city of Pittsburgh. Uh, that it is, although you wouldn't probably know it from this particular shot. Um, we're here to, to talk photography with you. That is correct. So I guess, uh, how exactly does photography fit into your life? Is this work or a hobby? Uh, it's more so a hobby, and uh, it's kind of weird how I got into it. And I'm really enjoying the last year and a half I've had exploring the city and other cities that I've been visiting. So it's, it's a hobby. So how did you get into it? I was actually at a uh, holiday party about two years ago. It was probably 2016 now. And uh, a friend of mine takes beautiful pictures in the city. And I was like, you know what? I bet you I could probably take pictures like him. And I made it my New Year's resolution for 2017. And I kind of got addicted to it. I was kind of going all over the place, trying new things. And, and I enjoyed um, just going out and getting out and about, seeing things that I never seen before or go to a place that I haven't been to in 20 years. So... It's it's a lot of fun. Oh, excellent. And from all of that, what, what do you remember your first picture that you took? Not really. The, the first picture I think that people really started to like, you know, like and people made comments to me. I was standing under um, the Fort Pitt Bridge and it was kind of a shot towards the city and people were like, that's a really cool photo. And I was like, thanks. Like, you know, I just kind of did it out on a whim and, <laughs> and I was like, people are starting to notice like what I'm doing. This is kind of cool. And it kind of clicked. So. Yeah. Okay. And then it just kind of went from there. Yeah. Snowball. And would you say that of all the pictures you've taken, do you have a favorite that you want to? I, I don't, I don't know if I have a favorite, but if, if I had to pick one, it was, uh, just recently I, I took a picture of, um, the overlook up on Mount Washington and there are these crazy clouds and there is this uh, beautiful sunset kind of going on to the left side of the photo and turned out to be my most liked picture ever on Instagram. But it was also my favorite picture too. Like whenever I took it and I looked at it, I was like, that's really cool. I kind of did one of those little head scratches and I was like, yeah, this is, this is cool. And, and yeah, it's great. And did you happen to be setting out to take a picture up there? Or were you just kind of up there for other reasons? And I, said, hey, I, I was up there just because I was kind of wandering the city taking pictures and uh, uh, right place at the right time. I think that's half of photography sometimes. That's probably true. Which will bring us, I guess, to our, our, our actual gallery photo. Although we'll take a very short break here and uh, have a couple of messages from Captured Pittsburgh. And when we come back, we'll talk about that gallery photo. This episode of Captured Pittsburgh Darkroom was filmed at Code and Supply. It's a co-working space in East Liberty that is more than just a place to work with other people. It's also a job board and a place to find great events, including meet and greets, lectures, and workshops. Welcome back. And uh, we're going to, to talk about the, the gallery. Have you ever had the chance to be in a gallery of any sort before? No, this is the first time I've ever been selected to be in a gallery. So it's kind of a, a shocking experience, to say the least. Oh, shocking. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm just an amateur photographer, you know, and to be selected by someone like Captured Pittsburgh to be put up in a neighborhood that I spend a lot of my time in is shocking to me, so... 
Okay, that's that's an unusual reaction, yeah, but yeah. you know what? We'll take it. Yeah. So, so tell us a little bit more about that experience. What uh, what was it like to just see your picture in print for the first time? Um, it was it was different, you know, because I'm used to seeing my photo either on a a camera screen, a computer, or a cell phone, and uh, whenever it's you know on a big piece of metal hanging up in the in a little public space in Shady Side, it's it's different, and it's kind of cool and addicting to see it you know i kind of want to do it more now and and see what it's it's like you know not on the electronic format okay good and you and you mentioned phone specifically because because the gallery photo was taken with a phone right yeah yeah it is it was taken with a phone an iphone and i use these little allo clips that i purchased and it's amazing what these little things can do so do you do most of your shooting with a phone 99.99 percent yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you actually have a, a, a proper camera on I, top of that? I do not. Actually. Oh, wow. I do not. Um, I uh, saw a quote by a guy by the name of Chase Jarvis. He said, the best camera is the one that's with you. And whenever I got into this, I didn't know if I would like taking pictures and stuff. And uh, so I was like, you know, I'm going to utilize that quote and use the, the camera that's always on me, my cell phone. So uh, I learned everything I could in regards to the iPhone camera and, you know, and purchase these lenses to, you know, take a, either really wide shots, telephoto shots. They, they kind of make a lens for everything. And um, I kind of perfected it. I wanted to see how, you know, I could change photos inside of a, a you know, an iPhone. And it's kind of amazing what that ca little camera can do that everyone has in their pocket. So... Oh, they have come a long way. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, how exactly did you come to take this particular picture? This particular picture that was uh, chosen by you guys, um, I was I was in the right place at the right time. Uh, I was in uh, the North Shore. I was at uh, a bar hanging out with some friends and there was a Pirates game going on. And it was a cold night. It was beginning of April and it was still snowing out, which was terrible. But um, so that was this year, I yeah, they, they, yeah. This was a couple, <laughs> yeah, a couple, a couple weeks ago. Okay. And uh, uh, next thing you know, we heard fireworks going off, and I was like, "All right, guys, I'll be back." Uh, and I got up from the table, ran across the street, down the steps, and I was right on the uh, little walkway right next to the river, and took like twenty photos and looked through them all. I was like, "There's probably something cool in here," and, and then. The next morning I woke up and looked through them all. I was like, I'm going to post this one to Instagram tonight. And, and that's what I did. So I was, like I said, right place at the right time. Very nice. Now, as an, as an Android person, I don't know how the iPhone camera works. Do you actually, that, that looks like kind of a long shutter speed. Yeah. I know that's not a kind of a standard thing on, on Android sort of phones. Is that something that you had to get an app for? Uh, no, no, that was, uh, you can kind of fool around with it inside the camera app setting, so. Okay, so they have changed that yeah. a little bit. Okay, very good. And uh, if we were to look for more of your photos, where can we find you? Uh, you can find me at KTK7895 on Instagram, and uh, that's where I post all my photos. So, yep, KTK7895. Great. Well, we look to see it, forward to seeing more of them, and... Uh, and if you, you get even higher quality camera, I can, I'm sure you'll come up with something even more amazing, although not if you don't have it with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thanks for coming out and talking to us. Thanks for participating in the gallery and uh, hope to see more of your work. Yeah, I greatly appreciate this opportunity. It's been a lot of fun and I uh, look forward to seeing what you guys do in the future. So thank you all for watching this episode. Uh, thanks also to Code and Supply co-working space for providing us the room to shoot. Uh, don't forget to, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to using the little, little bell button that's probably somewhere down here on your screen. Uh, if you're listening to this on iTunes, please give us some reviews so that we can get reviewed on iTunes. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode. <laughs>